go into the unknown and grow up. What was Jordan Peterson trying to say there? Well, by now you've seen the title of the video and you know what he's talking about. Becoming independent and undertaking the so-called hero's journey. Answering the question, how can I become independent, is tricky because personal context matters a lot. There's no magic formula, but there are some steps you can take to set things in motion. After today's video, we promise we'll leave you with a better perspective on how to become truly independent, starting from zero to hero. Make sure to stick around until the end because we've got a special surprise for you, Aluxer. Grab a drink and let's dive in. Welcome to Alux. Okay, first and foremost, make a good plan. Is freedom anything else than the right to live as we wish? Nothing else. We're starting this discussion off with this quote from Epictetus, one of the Roman Stoics. Part of the reason why people want to become independent is they want more freedom. When we are young, there's usually someone standing between us and the unknown. Those are usually our parents, family, and mentors. They provide us with answers to basic questions and guide us in the early stages of our life. But there comes a time when this stops. You can't ask them questions anymore because they actually don't know any more than you do. Or even worse, their answers were wrong or outdated the entire time. That's where the journey toward independence starts. You just become aware of it. It becomes a necessity. This is a natural step in the development of any healthy adult. You should want to be independent. But as we said, it ain't that simple. First, you need a plan because the call to adventure is exciting, but also hard and paved with potential suffering. So let's figure out the basics. You want to become independent of what? When people ask themselves this question, the answer is usually dependent on age. My parents. Well, that's when you need to figure out what it actually means to live by yourself. Paying rent and bills, showing up every day, embracing loneliness at times, cooking and cleaning, etc. There are a lot of things we need to talk about here, but before anything else, make sure you start by setting your finances straight. If you're living with your parents, first get a job and set aside what's considered, on average, at least three months of expenses. And we know getting a job ain't easy, especially during a recession, so make sure you also have the necessary skills to start a good career path. You can achieve that by going the more traditional route, which is getting a college degree or diploma, or by using the modern Library of Alexandria open 24-7 at your disposal, also known as Google. You can learn anything, you just need determination, but we'll get back to that later. Once you get those skills, make sure you know how to highlight them when you get the interview. You won't get too far by working random jobs. We've got plenty of educational videos on this topic. Just browse around our channel and you will find something valuable. Now, coming back to the subject, you'll need that money in case times get tough. The last thing you want to do is to return home embarrassed after failing to manage on your own. That's why setting this up is important. Once you do that, you can slowly make the transition by moving out on your own, building a routine and developing healthy habits. Make sure you earn enough to have a decent standard of living, otherwise reduce your spending or look for alternative sources of income. Remember, a characteristic of rich people is that they have multiple sources of income. Make that a priority. Once you make those first steps, your immediate goal should be to complete your financial independence journey. And because we're on this topic, learn how to build wealth. Learning how to be disciplined with money is a hard task. There are a lot of material things out there that can bait you into getting greedy, so be careful if you own a credit card. You can decide to be twice as rich by deciding you need half as much. Spending money you don't have is a bad idea. Debt becomes a great tool only if you know how to leverage it to your advantage. Learn about finance, how the printing press works, economic policies, and then proceed with making your first investments. It doesn't have to be big. Look at things from a learning perspective. It's a trial and error process that you will master over time. The wealthier you become, the more independent you're going to be. 
That's because, whether we accept it or not, money opens up doors and sometimes can even buy freedom. The first thing you'll realize is that money is not the goal, but merely a means by which you can achieve your goals. That's a paradigm shift right there that will help you to build a healthy relationship with your finances. You're welcome. And as you can see, becoming independent requires a lot of work and discipline, but all hard things are beautiful and provide us with meaning. And meaning fuels the individual to get out of bed excited for any challenges that life throws at them. Independence is a mindset. And remember that all the wealth in the world can be lost unless you know what to do with it. Find out who you truly are. A big part of becoming independent is figuring out who you truly are. The process of discovering oneself is a lifelong journey, so don't try to rush things. Find out what your values are and build on top of that. This is one of the first steps in what psychoanalyst Carl Jung called the individuation process. A true human being is sovereign and can distinguish themselves from the majority. Part of this call to adventure that we embark on is figuring out who we truly want to be. One of the ways in which you can do that is by writing down your values and your destination on a piece of paper. Then, figure out what you need to do in order to get there. This process involves building daily habits, so make sure you stay consistent. And because earlier we mentioned figuring out what career path you want to pick, once you get enough experience, make sure you upgrade this as well. How? By slowly backing out of the regular job market and seeking out new opportunities. By now, you've probably heard of the four hour work week or the four day work week. This way of working is real, but it requires a lot of discipline and competence. But that's what you want to aim at. Striking a good balance between your personal life and your job life might prove to be a challenge at first. The more you value your independence, the more you'll look for ways to save up as much time as possible and work as efficiently as possible. This is the point in your life where a remote first freelance job might suit you best. During the pandemic, a lot of people used the opportunity of working remotely to either transition to a full remote job or literally turned into quiet quitters. Let's drop some facts here. According to the Gallup survey of workers aged 18 and older taken in June 2022, quiet quitters make up at least 50% of the US workforce, probably more. And that's a lot, and it points to an even more impactful fact. The Great Resignation is real, and it's happening as we speak. Millions of people are actively quitting their jobs, and now more than ever, independence is a sought-after quality of life. Just look at the pace big tech companies are firing employees in recent quarters. Just a couple of days ago, Meta announced they were firing 11,000 employees, and Elon is doing something similar over at Twitter. There's a lot of chaos going on, but luckily you've come to the right place, Aluxer. Yesterday we launched Freelance Mastery, a premium learning experience designed to transform you from employee to CEO of your life. We spent the past year putting together what we believe to be the best guide into helping you create a company of one. Take control of your money and time and learn how to position yourself in the modern marketplace. Go to alux.com slash freelance and enroll now. We are keeping this open just for one week. That's it. You're likely to need to reinvent yourself or add additional streams of income if you're to thrive in this new world. And this course will help you with that transition. So make the smart choice and start investing in yourself today. The world is headed toward a new economy and those who will inherit it are the ones who know how to adapt. By now, you should have a general idea of what true independence actually means. But before ending this video, there's one more thing that we feel we should also touch on, and that is to embrace loneliness. Jean-Paul Sartre, the famous French existentialist philosopher, once famously said, if you are lonely when you are alone, you are in bad company. Now, that's what we like to call a hard hitter because, wow, it's true. A big part of practicing self-reliance is learning to be alone with and okay with one's thoughts. 
Don't disregard that as a bad thing. You learn the most about yourself by meditating and reflecting on your own life. You don't have time for it if there's always someone around to protect you from your fear of loneliness. Do you want to be independent or not? This is a big part of it because having some quality me time is what helps you to find clarity. Your mind will become noisy if you don't make the time to have the difficult conversations with yourself. Take this into account if you want to become truly independent. And one of the premises here is you don't rely on anyone else more than you rely on yourself. We'll let you meditate on that one. And that's all for today, Aluxer. At what age did you become truly independent and what did your journey look like? We're so curious to know, so drop your answers in the comments below. Also, make sure to tip us with a like if you found this topic interesting and if you're hungry for more, check out this video.